Hello everyone, okay I'm gonna just take advantage of this VOD that I will try to upload to my channel. I'm at my friend's place to try to upload this and get it sorted. It's some sort of announcement but also an update on what's exactly going on on my end because I still don't have internet. As you guys know, for the last week I wasn't able to upload any VOD and uh, well, basically I still don't have internet. I've been contacting my ISP tried a million phone calls until I actually was able to uh, speak with the technical team that gave me an update on exactly what's going on and then I got lucky so to speak and yesterday when I was driving around to meet my friend I found the technical team working on the central the phone central that distributes the phone signal and the DSL signal to my area and um, I got out of the car and just asked them and they told me that uh, the central suffered some sort of meltdown basically some big fire melted away most of the hardware there and they're slowly repairing it and uh, replacing most of the hardware and uh, they also told me that it will take at least till the end of the year to actually have ev everything back into the position it was before the meltdown occurred. Okay, this means that I'm going to be stuck without internet for quite a while. They told me that maybe in a couple of weeks I might be having internet back and running once more. But um, they also told me that the service won't be constant. What I mean by this is that I might have like internet a couple of days and then they pull the plug again to replace more hardware and it will be like that at least till the end of the year based on their assumptions. And uh, obviously that doesn't allow me to make a proper um, service to you guys it doesn't allow me to provide proper content with uh, uh, some consistency and with all the competition with so many casters and so many people providing good content I mean there's no need for me to keep going like that um, if I actually have internet back with proper and good conditions once more I will gladly sit down and cast some more games as I did for over a year but as it is at the moment it's totally useless and um, I feel a bit upset and frustrated because uh, well it was something that I enjoyed but uh, I guess I'm gonna go back into being a normal fan just gonna sit down and watch some streams or watch some VODs when I actually have internet so for now I think I'm not even gonna be able to do that and um, I need to thank all of you for your patience, obviously. Thank everyone that uh, kept following my VODs. I tried to do the best work that I could with my retarded internet and my Jurassic PC, but seems like it's time to move on. Time to just uh, give up on it and uh, go do something else. Uh, I'm a huge fan from StarCraft 2, so as long as I have the chance of watch the games, maybe I'm not going to be watching any streams, but um, hopefully I'm going to go to this friend of mine that is allowing me to upload this VOD and try to download some stuff, maybe with one of those um, stuff to download videos from YouTube and just compile them and watch them at home. Uh, because, um, well, I, it's out for me. I can't do anything about it. I apologize, obviously. But um, I'm still quite happy to, with what I achieved. I had some pretty interesting numbers, especially for a, a non-English uh, based caster. I mean, my uh, native language is not English. I uh, had a lot of mistakes when I'm casting and I try my best, but uh, not every time comes out perfect. Still, I think I had some interesting results. I was quite happy with what I was doing. Uh, and um, now it's time to uh, just go and do something else. I guess I'm going to watch some movies or read a book or ride a bicycle. <laughs> something else, I don't know. Um, uh, I need to thank you guys once more, I'm not going to take more of your time. Um, oh, another thing, uh, it's obvious that um, I'm not going to be heading back and checking YouTube every day or uh, checking messages or PMs on Team Liquid or YouTube or on the email that I gave for uh, the replays. So uh, no need to go through those channels, I probably won't reply. So if you guys even try to contact through those methods, if I don't reply, that's the reason why, it's because I'm not even going there anymore. And um, I'm going to roll back into be a normal StarCraft 2 fan and uh, also gonna do other stuff with my life. Uh, meanwhile, you guys know that uh, streaming is the way to go currently. There's a million streams going on 24-7, so YouTube was kind of fading away. It felt a bit like it, at least for me. But from what I've been in numbers, even the top casters from YouTube that were like the biggest monsters casting a year ago, even them, they're getting big hits on their numbers on YouTube. So clearly seems like the streaming is the way to go and I never had the hardware to stream anyway. 
So seems like this is a early death for me. It's unfortunate. I would like to keep casting some more, but um, might be a sign of the things to come. I don't have the hardware to a stream and stream is the way to go. And there's so many people doing such a good work that um, it doesn't need to be like this. I don't need to struggle and drag myself until one day just um, I can't do it anymore. I can't stand it anymore. Um, as you can see, I'm just browsing here around all of this um, websites. This one in particular, sc2casts.com, got a big compilation of all the games that get casted every day. So if you guys miss any VODs or want to watch anything, just come here to sc2casts.com and there's this huge list with tops. I already made a short presentation about this website in the past, but there's top for best games uh, by uh, past 24 hours this week, this month, all time. There's uh, updates, daily updates, as you can see, all the games that get covered on YouTube and uh, other websites, it's all here. So there's no need to be depending on my work or any specific caster work. Just come here and take a look at whatever you want. And um, meanwhile, there's also some new replay websites. As you can see, this, this one, se 2 replays .aaa.eu it's from the French based team but has a lot of cool replays a lot of new stuff and um, what else well this one everyone knows I'm assuming sc2rep.com it's probably one of the most popular ones and the Korean one play XP so plenty of places to grab your uh, um, replays to take a look at and for casts well I totally recommend Team Liquid, obviously. It's the way to go, the main hub for the community. And going on sc2cast.com to check stuff out by yourself. Uh, thank you, everyone. Um, I'm going to roll back into being a normal fan. Uh, see you guys in the future. I'm sure we're going to meet again, maybe in another game. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do about the YouTube channel. For now, I'm not going to do anything since I can't even reach it. But uh, in the future, I don't know, maybe I'll just pass it along to some friend of mine for him to upload stuff of himself. Or I'll just do something else when I actually have internet, maybe closer to the end of the year. Thank you for your time. Sorry for the ranting. It was a long, uh, uh, long, uh, s long heads up. Should be shorter. Have fun. And you guys enjoy your time. See ya.